gonna talk about some five string bass guitar myths. First one, five strings are harder to play. Notes are notes. And on a five string bass, that extra string will just make you stronger, essentially. Uh, it could be confusing for a while, but it, again, does not take very long to get used to. When you're starting out, though, when, when you're first playing guitar, bass guitar, I do recommend that you start on a four string. I don't recommend that this is the first thing that you pick up when you're picking up bass guitar, solely for the reason that when you're going to be reading books or when you're going to be watching lessons, uh, and any when you're learning, traditionally people are going to be talking about bass guitar in a four string, uh, in, a, in a four string sense, and they're going to be doing exercises where it's kind of essential that you have a four string so you don't really get confused. And in that case, yeah, just get you know your first bass, get a four string. But when if you're thinking about moving up to a five string bass guitar, it's not so much as an advanced bass. It's just another tool that you're adding on your on your instrument that you can utilize whenever you want to. So it really doesn't make the bass more complicated. It just makes it a little bit more complex. Five string bass guitars are built better. Just because you add something to something else does not mean that it's built better. Uh, the brand, the wood, electronics, uh, a whole slew of things come into factor when it comes to the build quality of an instrument. The extra string is not one of them. Simply put, a five string bass guitar is not built better than a four string bass guitar. Five string bass guitars are more expensive. Now there are cheap five strings and there are cheap four strings. The string does not determine the cost of the instrument. The cheapest five string might cost more than the cheapest four string, but that's due to the fact that there is just extra stuff on there. There's a little bit wider neck, so the material is more, and there is another string on there, but the cost that's gonna be added to that is pretty negligible. So now that we talked about five string basses, let's uh, talk a little bit about six or more string basses. Six string basses give you an extended range in the other direction by adding a high C string above the G on a five string bass. In my opinion, these types of basses are, are well suited for solo bassists. Um, ones who are gonna be utilizing a lot of higher notes, they're gonna be going uh, and doing a lot more melodies, a lot more tapping stuff, uh, and then they're gonna also go down and play some of the bass notes, the essential extremely low register notes. So I, I really don't think that five or six string basses are, are as useful as five string basses as compared to four string bass guitars. Six string basses are not tuned like guitars. They're not tuned E, A, D, G, B, E, but rather they're tuned B, E, A, D, G, C. Now you can try tuning it like a guitar, but that would be highly impractical. Seven and eight string bass guitars give you lower strings below the B, such as low octaves of G and F sharp. Uh, I don't see, again, I don't see much of a conventional use for these basses because you're going to get near subsonic levels. It's going to be really hard to get audible notes out of some of those. But uh, when you're playing in, uh, in, in bands like, like Born of Osiris, uh, things like it, when, you, when you need notes that are just so low where you're just going to be relying on the distortion to, uh, to get you out there, there are seven and eight string basses. Uh, they're not made for that specific reason. They're just made so that you have those lower notes, uh, but you can use it for those purposes.